Okay, folks, thanks very much for joining us. I think we turn up another size 18 micro travel. Um, so it's going to be a Francis style fly and fairy brown. Using 14 0 thread. So be very careful whenever you're adding a thread just to the, the size of this travel. So I'm going to add it onto the head. As I'm bringing it down, I'm going to bring the thread in, I'm going to add in what will be the tag and the rib, which is going to be thin gold wire. And just be very careful of those hook points. Make sure once you pluck those, all the samples go out of your thread. Okay, once you're down a bit there, just roughly to the barb, you can start using your wire and making a, a tag out of it. So it's up to yourself how many turns. I'm going to do three or four, and then the last turn, just going to hook this around. And bring this on top again and I'm going to pull the thread over it but I'm going to try and bring that thread on up a bit because I don't want to be securing it close to the hook points and then next thing you know um, the thread will splay okay so then I'm going to double this thread down underneath and bring this on down again Okay. Right then. There's two parts to the, the tail area. Um, so first thing I'm going to use is some golden pheasant fiber, and this is going to be I think it's called the rostrum. Um, okay, so I'm just going to strip off the fluff. I'm just going to tie this in um, lightly here first. Doesn't matter where it slipped down here, even but. Cancel those barbs. I'm going to pull that in until I'm happy with it. Okay. I'm just going to pull out a few fibers. Maybe that's a little bit too heavy for this kind of fly. Okay. And then just bring it back up to the tag to secure that and also that will then kick up against the tag okay trim, trim off your excess Okay, and then the feelers, you can use whatever you want. You can use brush fibers, you can use um, hackles, hackle stocks. I'm using um, board bristles. So this is, these are actually orange bristles, but with a red tag. They've been dyed by Ryan Houston. So I got these off eBay, and yeah, they're, they really seem to hold their, their strength as well in the water. Whereas the hackles, you're constantly having to curve the hackles again. Okay, so I'm just going to put one on the top. What are you going to do? Two, probably about three or four. Okay. You can do a mixture of locations. It doesn't it does not have to be at the top. Okay. underneath and you'll fix all this up after so don't worry if they start to slip okay and then I'm just going to do one more get another favourite okay See, it's starting to get a bit messy. But bear with us here. Okay. So, as you can see, the thread is under a lot of pressure of those 
um, points of the, the travel. So what I'm going to do is add a bit of super glue which will both secure the, the four bristles but it'll also secure the thread underneath for a bit of security. I'll just work up to the tag here. Okay, I'm going to add in a wee bit more. Super glue nearly done, it's all sticky at this stage. It does no harm, but wouldn't be using it for a head. Okay. So it's just up to the tag. And that's our, our fibres. And what we can do is start to neaten things up a bit. Okay, and as you can see, it's, it's almost starting to France the shape just because of the super glue and the amount of cut involved. Okay. So then for the, the main part of the body, I'm going to use, it's basically, it's wool, like a lot of France's use, but it's a fairy brown, so it's almost like a burgundy um, colour. So I'll just tie that on. I'll catch underneath, use the weight of the bobbin. I'll just bring it up to the tag. Okay. Gonna use plenty of wax on my thread here. Let's see wee bits of fibre poking out there, but that adds all scruffiness because the wood will give that effect anyway. Okay, I'm just going back up here with plenty of wax on this thread to avoid any slipping. And use a wee bit of super glue if you want it to, but it might, um, it might soak up a wee bit too much on the wool. Okay, so I'm twisting, as you can see, I'm twisting the wool as I go round just to make sure it doesn't splay. Couple of times. And then the last thing we need to do is just add our rib. So you're only going to get two or three turns of this. Okay. Then, as before, a few turns of the, the wire, and then you'll actually be able to break the wire off. So, just twist it, and see if you have any blunt of scissors. Okay, wasn't totally playing ball there. Let's see a wee bit of wire here still sticking out. Did we tie over that? Okay. Then just start forming your head. Then once you're happy, let's just tan it off. Oh. Okay, so just tie that off now we'll leave it finish. Three, three, four. And then if you want, it's up to yourself. You can put a wee bit of Velcro on, they pull out some of the fibres, or you can start trimming some of the fibres that have come out from the wool, but naturally that'll start to come out anyway, and it does no harm. So except whenever you use fur and all that we do that. So folks, that's it. That's your size 18 micro travel francis. You can see um 
left Norfolk Gold. We're, getting, we're at the, the end of the season and we're in low water, so probably a fly that would, would be a good choice at this time of the year. As always, if you like the fly, give us a thumbs up below. Um, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, or anything, drop them down below as well. Okay, thanks very much. All the best.